Good morning and welcome to weekly vlog number 20. It's Thursday, December 21st. It's 5.45 a.m. It is early and we are about to head to the airport to fly to Maryland. I did get a text message this morning that instead of flying out at 9.15, our flight was delayed until 9.30, so, um, but that's not too big of a delay. There's not any inclement weather here or in Baltimore, so it must be the plane coming in to pick us up. You know what I mean? Anyway, we have our giant suitcases all packed and ready to go, and um, we're really looking forward to flying out. Unfortunately, Riley's feeling just a little bit under the weather, so um, we're trying to take care of him as best we can. So yeah, let's head out to the airport. Hey guys, it's about 10.30 now here um, in Maryland. We made it here safely. We flew in probably around 1.15 or so and spent the day getting here, getting unpacked, and just settling in. I saw my paternal grandparents, my sister and her husband stopped by with their dog. So it's been kind of like a crazy day. This is how it always is when we come here. Like there's just lots to do, lots of people to see, but it's been really fun. So anyway, we are gonna head to bed now and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, it is Friday, December 22nd. It's about 12.30 p.m. now. Um, we, I slept in until, I woke up around 8.30, but um, stayed in bed with Riley until like 10 or 10.30 and we just kind of rested. We just kind of rested because after all of yesterday and flying and everything, we were both a little exhausted. I am getting ready to head over to my Aunt Sharon's house. My Aunt Sharon is very dear to me and um, her two daughters are also. She is my godmother and has always been like a second mom to me. I just, we just have a really close bond. And I have my Disney cup. So I actually just called her because I'm going out to dinner with my friend Olivia this evening, but I have between now and then, and Riley's going to a movie with my brother and my dad. So I have like a gap during the day. And she was like, oh sure, you can come over. She was like, um, just call Claire, my cousin, her daughter, who is out getting some things um, done and she'll come pick you up. Ooh, these are heavier than I thought they were gonna be. So Claire's coming to pick me up with Brooke, my other cousin, and then we're gonna head over there. And I think they're just cooking and cleaning and getting ready because they're hosting us on Christmas day, but I'm just gonna hang out with them. Can't wait. Good morning, it's Saturday, December 23rd. I didn't check in for the rest of yesterday. I was just with people that I don't get to see a lot and I, I just thought I'll have enough footage for Christmas Eve and Christmas day. Just didn't worry about it, but I had a great day. I went to visit my Aunt Sharon's for the morning and then I went to dinner with Olivia, my friend Olivia at night. Then we went back to her house and I didn't get home and get to bed until about 3 a.m. So, but it was really fun. We just hung out and chatted and whatnot. So, this morning, look how pretty. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, baby. Um, Mom, yeah, baby. give the people what they want and say hello. Hi, we're making bacon. <laughs> We've already worked out, haven't we, Blair? Some of us have. <laughs> and the people what they want. What does that mean? Well, everybody loves you on my YouTube channel. They should. <laughs> it's rainy outside. We're hoping it turns into Tomorrow snow. snow. Yeah, we're hoping it turns into snow. We have games. <laughs> we have games. My Tell her we have games. <laughs> Here's my mom's tree. Isn't this pretty? That sounds terrible. He's killed by friendly fire. And she has some Blair Lamb Design pillow covers. No, it's just a couple games today. I was actually looking at the tickets. Here's, here's her nativity scene. There's a charcoal drawing of us. And here's our little family picture wall. <laughs> Look at my brother. I've begun. There you go. Mmm. That bacon is perfect. So cute. Are you excited it's Christmas? <laughs> I love having my kids home. <laughs> Alright, let's eat. Alright, y'all. I am y'all. <laughs> it is um, almost 1 p.m. I'm still in my PJs, but that's what Christmas break is for, isn't it? So nice to have a little bit of time away from the daily grind. Um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed just in leggings and a t-shirt and um, Riley and I are gonna head out to Target because here the Target is only five minutes away instead of 35 to 45 minutes away like it is at home. So nice. Um, so we're gonna go head out there um, and just walk around. We don't have any like major shopping we need to do but we're just gonna, you know, what else are we gonna do? It's just a rainy day which I'm hoping turns into snow. Um, yeah, so it's been really good. I unpacked. It was all so neat, but Riley was asleep, so I couldn't show you guys on the day when I did it. Now it's getting a little janky. That suitcase down there is our gift suitcase, so we need to wrap. We do need to wrap those. And I put the pillows, like the decorative pillows, up at the top of the closet. And everyone, I posted a picture of this. Like I said, it was all neat. It's just not right now. Um, I posted a picture of this comforter on my Instagram story and like all these people were um, DMing me and asking where it's from. I, my mom said she thinks it's from Pottery Barn, but she's not sure if it's from Pottery Barn or Crate and Barrel. I think it's from Pottery Barn. I think I've seen it at Pottery Barn. But, um, this is not, this was never my room. This was my sister's room and they changed it into my room because it's, or they changed it into the guest room because it's so much bigger than what my room was. Um, so anyway, that's that. So we're just, we've just kind of unpacked and my friend Olivia, we got together last night and we exchanged Christmas gifts and she gave me this really neat 52 lists project book and there's 52 lists for every week of the year and they have like all different prompts like list the things that motivate you, list the difficult moments in your past that have shaped you for the better and it's just like a really neat, she said she thought it would be a really neat heirloom to like, to like spend time during a year, you know, and write it and then have it for future generations which I think is just like so neat and then she got Charlie a little lamb a little Christmas lamb I like died when I saw this I thought it was so cute like that little face so cute so she got that and then she got this be our guest for um, the guest room in our house knowing that we love Disney and we also love hosting people so she did a great job we love all of our little gifts so so cute and Charlie's gonna absolutely be obsessed with this with this little guy um Riley's sick so chaos is ensuing but yeah so we're I'm gonna get dressed and clean up this room a little bit um and then we are gonna head out to Target we are at this awesome little grocery store called Growls and we're gonna go in and order a birthday cake for Riley so there aren't very many left but these tins used to be full of Christmas cookies and these are my Mimi's, my um, paternal grandmother's Christmas cookies. And she rolls them and makes them as thin as she possibly can. I just washed my hands. Um, and that is the goal, is for them to be like thin, thin, thin crackers. So I'll always think of her whenever I see them. And I like to eat them. Yeah. This is a very Northeastern thing. They don't have thin cookies like this in Texas. The Texas cookies are thick, which I actually prefer the thick ones, but these are Mimi's and so I love them. <laughs> right now it's good. Yeah, yeah. It's Sunday, December 24th, Christmas Eve. Good job, this is my brother Brett. We're It's Christmas Eve. We are on our way to um, church right now. It's about 2.45 and then, I have a hair on my, ooh, I got it. Um, and then we're heading to um, my aunt's house. Do you look at the lens or the Hi, can I yourself? be on there? It's so hard. Yeah, I know you love being on there. Hi, I want to be on there. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey. It's me again. Happy, it's me happy New Year's Eve. All right, Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Not New Year's Eve. All right, well, I'll be seeing you. We just got to church. Service starts in 20 something minutes. Yeah, that's real good. That's real good. It doesn't catch the warm glow.
guys it is now um, about 5 30 gosh it feels like midnight i cannot get used to this getting dark at like noon like 4 p.m business anyway we just got home from church church was great and we are heading to my aunt and uncle's house um for dinner um with my mom's side of the family so when i was growing up all of my cousins which i have m many dozens of cousins would all be there and it was super super fun and i'm still looking forward to it but i have to say it's a little it's hard you know it's hard everyone's scattered across the country now and like barely any of my cousins will be there um i mean i think like maybe three or four will be there and i'm used to having like 20 plus there every christmas i don't know so, you know what i mean it's just kind of hard. It doesn't feel the same and it just doesn't have that same Christmassy feeling. I just refreshed my lipstick. Earlier I was wearing um, Praline Rose Lip Sense and I decided to take it off because um, I wanted to put on red for this evening. And this is that, um, I just got this in my last vlog. It is a Revlon Ultra HD Lipstick in Adobe. I think it's really pretty and festive for Christmas. So we're gonna head over there. Um, I would love to film because the, the home is my aunt's home is beautiful and the the food I'm sure will be great and all of these things. But you know it's like I just don't see these people very often and it's just kind of like a little weird. Like hey, here's my camera, but I'll try. I'll do my best. Um, I'm just really tired to be honest with you. I have not been sleeping since I got here. Um, but I actually might end up sleeping in the next room over tonight just to have a little more space because I'm like literally not sleeping. Also, Riley's sick and he's like breathing really weird. You know what I'm saying? Just sometimes you just don't get a good night's sleep. So last night I straight up could not fall asleep and I just got no sleep. So that's where I am right now. I am looking forward to going over and having some dinner with everyone though and seeing everybody. And then I'm mostly, to be honest with you, looking forward to tomorrow, um, which we spent with my dad's side of the family and because it's so much smaller I just am closer with the people on that side of the family so um, we'll go over to my aunt Sharon's house and she always has a beautiful delicious big brunch for us all and then we'll exchange gifts together there and it will just be really good so I'm really looking I'm excited about tonight but I'm like really looking forward to tomorrow so I'll check in later we're at my aunt's house for Christmas Eve and here's the meal it looks delicious it looks so delicious mine, mine wins I got the most special. Ooh, no he got asparagus too but but look at that. Yeah, my, but mine's better. Because <laughs> there's diversity of thought. Looks That's so true. delicious. And, and here's her beautiful home. They just went fast, didn't they? I got another one. Look at all she needs. Look at all she needs. Look at all she There's my dad. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's just about 11 p.m. now. We're home from my aunt's house where we had um, a beautiful Christmas Eve meal, which I showed you. Um, I was saying earlier I wasn't sure how it was gonna be, especially since like most of my cousins wouldn't be there and the tradition is generally that all of my cousins are there, but it ended up being a really nice night. We ended up having a really fun time, regardless of the fact that the kind of crew that was there has changed and kind of shrunk a little bit. Um, it was still, it was still a fun night. We still had a good time. So I am like praying for sleep tonight because I have had the hardest time sleeping for the past, since we got here. Usually the first night in a new place I have a hard time, but then after that I sleep pretty well. Not so. I have not slept basically this whole time any amount of like good solid sleep. Riley, you have anything to say? No, Merry Christmas. Oh, that's sweet. How are you feeling? Are you feeling any better? Throat hurts. Yeah. But like the really nasty symptoms have subsided. Yeah, it's much better. Which is good. It's no fun to be sick at any time. Definitely not when you're traveling and definitely not at Christmas time. Anywho, we're going to go to bed. I'm going to try to sleep, like I said. And we'll be up bright and early in the morning. Our plan tomorrow is to open up gifts um, between like 9 and maybe 11 or 11.30 or so. Um, and then heading over to my Aunt Sharon's house for um, her famous Christmas brunch. She straight up goes all out. She mm. makes so much delicious food. Mm. So, I mean, you could not believe how much food mm. she makes for how many of them? Mm. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, for 13 of us. You would think she was cooking for 45 people. It's awesome. So we're really looking forward to that. And I'm so excited to show everyone those um, shirts that I, um, I'm sure I'll take some footage of it tomorrow, but I showed them in my packing vlog, but like we, we screen printed these shirts of my poppy's boat and I just know that they're going to love them. And I just like, that's like what I'm most excited to give this Christmas because I can't wait to show them. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. 
Good morning, it's Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> it's December 25th, there's Allie and her husband Tommy. Hello. Hello. Merry Christmas everyone! Hey. Hi. And here I am. There's Brett. Hello. Hey. And I have a new What's hat that? for my sister. Lip thinners, what do you smell? Perfect. You're licking my elbows. <laughs> Ready, Finn? This is for you and Steel. Oh, your head and hair. Go ahead. What's this? Open this it up. It's for you and Steel. <laughs> What's that? What's that? What's that? Get it. What's this? What is wrong with it? It's kind of hard to open a present when you have no there we closing go. thumbs. Yeah. Wow, Finn. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, and a big softball. Finn. Finn. <laughs> She's like, all right. Oh, look at her. She can't get it. Tough one. Go get it, took them swimming yesterday. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's Christmas Day. We just finished exchanging family gifts um, with my sister and her husband, and then my mom and dad and brother, and of course, Riley. Yeah. It was really fun. Really nice. It's so fun to give everyone gifts, isn't it? And now we got really good gifts to give yeah. here in a minute. I know. They don't know anything about it. I know. I'm so excited those shirts. So anyway, we're heading over to my Aunt Sharon's for brunch and um, extended family gift exchange, which is pretty low-key because we're all adults now, and so it's just like a little something for everyone. Yeah. It'll be really fun. So, hope you're having... It's not Christmas now. Hope you had a great Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We just got to my Aunt Sharon's house, who... She's also my godmother, and I've definitely talked about her before. We're very close, and this is her gorgeous house. She just redid this room all nautical, and here's her nautical Christmas tree. Isn't that adorable? And she has her little anchor. So adorable. Hello. And then here's the adults table out here. Wait, British poppers have crowns? And Sharon, you want to say hello to my vlog watchers? Oh my goodness, hello everybody! <laughs> because all the work is done and the family has arrived. It smells amazing in here. I, I know! It's a I Christmas miracle. And I don't have myself together. No. It's better that. It is better that. We slept in till night. And here's the kids table out here. With all these husbands, we have to have a kids table again, which is actually so fun. And then she has some gifts here, and we just added some gifts here. And... Stockings and a Christmas tree. She loves Disney too. You getting out a tripod? Oh, you have a tripod. Oh, and look at the little mittens. So cute. What are you doing, Riley? Having a Merry Christmas. <laughs> Lynn said this was the There's my Uncle Len. He also plays Dungeons and Dragons, so he and Riley are kindred spirits. <laughs> you also get additional big presents. You can earn gift cards. Points toward winning, because this competition is like five games. So in order, you want to accrue as many points as possible, okay? And now the adults can also accrue their own gift card by playing their own special events. What do you mean, the old people? By choice, <laughs> the, pe the, the seasoned veterans of Christmas. The parents. So the first game is an engineering game, okay? That's good, man. Okay. So now, the, you have ingredients in front of you, okay? You can open up your fruit gummies. Thank you. Every single, every single piece yeah, has, every piece it's has scary. to be ah. utilized, but not all of them. Like you don't have to use all the marshmallows. You what don't have to use all the gummies. What is this? You don't have to use. <laughs> that's, a that's a chocolate covered cherry. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Gary I need to understand. Mary and David, David chocolate this. covered cherry. <laughs> Twizzlers, marshmallows, sticks. Now the sticks can be broken. They can be left whole. You don't have to use all of what you have, but you have to use every piece. At least one marshmallow, at least one stick, at least in one Twizzler. So you understand? I don't want to over talk. In order to do what? In order to build <laughs> the tallest tower. 
that will Free remain standing top. that will remain standing for measurement. And it's not leaning on anything. The point you are it, it can only sit yeah. on the tray. You cannot hold it. You cannot like hold it up. And I must okay. say, listen to me. Listen to me. Your the tallest measurement must have a food item on it. So instant for instance, you can't stack four I, sticks. I'm not going to measure the stick. There must be a marshmallow or a gummy on the top for the measurement. Okay? I love it. Okay. You got it? You will have 10 minutes to build this. 10 minutes? 10 minutes. Okay? <laughs> but I'm going to give you a couple seconds. minutes to Ready, think. Sir. Well, we're just being quiet and you Ready. can just think. Ready. 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 Good job, Brooke. The bulldozer effect was good. Slow, Brooke. Right, slow when you pick it up, honey. Slow. Right, good. Go. I'm like choking on it. Yeah. Get off the chair. Claire's off the chair. Get off the chair if you need to. Okay. <laughs> no gagging. No gagging. Okay, stop. Last spoon in. Okay. Chairs. Now we are on to bingo. The bingo okay. segment well, of our presentation. <laughs> We're gonna get the lights up right. All right, this is my cousin Claire, and this is the shirt that I just gave everyone. 2017 on the front. Mental family Christmas on the back with my poppy's boat. And everyone has one. And we just took a picture outside with us all wearing them. Yeah, it's very special. And look, you gotta get a picture of her. Oh, and my cousin Brooke has one of my Blair Limb Design Etsy shop. Look how beautiful, so good. And we're getting lunch out now. And look at this. This is where it's at. Yum. Hey guys, it's about 9.30 now. We just got home and I changed in back into PJs after being at my aunt's house um, for the day. But we had a great Christmas. I hope you had a great Christmas too. Um, we had brunch together and then we played games, which I showed you some of that. That was so funny and hilarious. And then we, we had a we had that big brunch games. We opened gifts together. Um, everyone loved those shirts. That was really fun. And then my aunt actually has lunch. So she has like all these appetizers. It's just crazy. So much food. <laughs> it's really, really fun. One thing that I did do today that I've never done in Christmas past is like a lot of times over Christmas, I will um, come home and just feel horrible. Just like I'll just feel bloated and uncomfortable. And like I ate way too much. And just like, you know what I mean? Just like that ugh, feeling of like, food all day but today I actually brought my acrylic my little plastic tumbler with me and I just filled it with white ice water all day just filled it with ice water all day all day and just drank ice water all day like I literally probably drank I'm not kidding probably 12 okay maybe maybe not 12 but probably at least eight cups of big cups of water um and I feel great right now. Like I don't feel overstuffed. I don't feel like any of that. I feel really, really good right now. Um, just staying hydrated and not just eating. Cause like all those foods, you know, they're all like tons of mayonnaise, tons of salt. They're so yummy. Um, but I just always, every Christmas I come home and I just feel like, Oof. but this one I feel great. Cause I had a little bit of all the different things that I wanted to eat, but I just drank tons of water. So I think I'm going to start doing that more when we, when there's like events and things um, where there's going to be a lot of food because it's amazing how well that works. Anyway, I'm going off on co some complete random tangent. Do you have any weird little hacks like that that you use when you're going to be like with family or you're going to be with whatever? Um, so I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. I have not decided yet whether I'm going to vlog the 26th, 7th, 8th, 9th, and 30th of December. Anyway, but because I think this might be the last one of my month, this is definitely the last, um, vlogmas like 
giveaway vlog. I've done a giveaway all the other four. This is the last, definitely the last giveaway. Um, and I'm giving away something that I don't have to show you because it's an e thing, an online thing, but I'm giving away a $25 and Erin Condren gift card. And it's fun because I have a referral link. And so if you use that, when you, you, if you win, you actually get $35, um, because that they will send you a $10 gift card for entering. And then you can stack that with the gift card that I'm going to send to you. So I'm going to send that over email. So I have nothing to show for that just so that, um, whoever wins can get the gift card and then order if they want to order a planner or a notebook or anything else um, to use in the new year you can go ahead and do that pretty quickly instead of me having to mail it out to you and, and that shipping time so if you want to enter that giveaway you just need to um, click below and um, click over to the raffle copter widget and um, I share about Erin Condren all the time because I use her it's literally right here I brought it with me um, I use this notebook as my planner and I take it everywhere with me and every night before bed, even here on this trip, I've gone every night and crossed off a couple, like just been keeping a to-do list. Instead of keeping a daily to-do list right now, I'm just keeping a weekly to-do list because obviously I'm on a trip and so there's not as many daily to-dos as normal, but it's been really nice to just like remember the things that need to keep going in the background and I found myself being less stressed because I'm not trying to like remember that I need to do this that or the other so if you think having like a really nice notebook would be helpful to you whether you just want to journal in it or take notes in it or use it as a planner like I do or whatever works for you Erin Condren plus they have awesome packing stuff travel stuff whatever I'll leave my referral link is always below so you can click through and all you have to do is you just sign up and then they will email you a $10 off gift certificate but for this giveaway, you're getting $25. That was a lot of words to say. The giveaway is a $25 Erin Condren gift certificate. So if you're interested, click below on the raffle copter widget and then use one or all or however many you want. Entry options and then you'll be good. Okay, I think my brain's a little fried. I have been extroverting a lot this trip because that's, you know, if you live far away from your hometown, when you come home, you know how it is. It's like you just seen people literally 24 hours 12 hours a day, 18 hours a day, the whole time. So it's been really fun, but I'm like a little bit drained. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably go grab a cup of tea or something like that and unwind today. It's been a great Christmas. Merry Christmas. I hope your Christmas was so lovely. It's been such a nice, just a nice day with family. And it's just, I cherish time that I get to spend with my family since I don't see them very often. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this vlog. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and I would love to hear in a comment below, what did you do this Christmas? How did your Christmas go? Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can go ahead and do that by clicking on the subscribe button. Um, and if you want notifications on your phone every time that I post a new, a new vlog or a new a video of any kind, then click on the little bell icon next to the subscription box and that way you won't miss anything. Thank y'all so much for watching. See you later. Bye.